Greetings interwebs, my name is Jersey Joe and welcome to Awesome Town. Today, we're gonna go over my black deck that I like to call Greymon.blocker because as you're gonna see, there's a lot of Greymons and there's a lot of blocking. So without further ado, let's jump into it and just show it off. Now this isn't like gonna be like a super competitive black. Um, it's, pretty, it's a really strong build. Um, I'm just having a lot of fun with it right now, but I thought I still wanna start off anyways. Um, of course, we're just gonna jump off right with the Digitama. Thomas is we have uh, pretty much five Kaporiamon. We do have the the four up and the BT2. This one is very, very simple. Uh, basically, your turn, while this Digimon has a reboot, it gains plus one. Very effective card. Pretty much helps you get those numbers, especially for your blockers, so that they're stronger. That way, your level six blockers can pretty much get over their, your opponent's level sixes, things like that. And then we have the one of Kapor from the starter deck five. Um, this one says while a Digimon has blocker, it gains plus one. So again, they both work out in a way. Um, it's the one up, but they both should still give you all those plus one reward. All right, I can move on to those nice little level threes. First of all, uh, for some reason, on this is a great card. Basically, this is our Digi Burst Return to Hand card, and that's pretty much what it's used for. It just keeps your up your hand up, keeps your rookies in your hand. That way, when we Digi Burst, you have your rookie every time, and this deck does Digi Burst a lot. And then we're doing four, uh, what I call the clear Toy Agumon. Um, this card is great. Basically, it's a terrible skill where if your opponent didn't attack this turn, you get the draw card. Very fun. Um, it's really always useful it's just to kind of help where you got these eight blockers and your opponent's not going to attack you. You're pretty much just, he's pretty much forced to not attack. So you're just going to get a free draw every turn. Now, they do attack, it's fine, but it's just kind of just there for that pressure. And then wrapping up with four normal Agumon, the Toy Agumon, I'm sorry. Um, I thought about putting the black one here, but I still kind of like this one because this one gives reboot. And as you saw, most of our inheritable skills rely on reboot. So Toy Agumon here just helps to make sure that you always have reboot in your Digimon just to fall from skills. Though so there's another card in this deck that gives it, but this just helps with more consistency. Uh, pretty much now we're going to move to the level fours here. And our one drops, we're doing four Numon and four Tyranimon. Tyranimon is from the new start deck as well. This bad boy has blocker, one new one, just a one drop vanilla. Very simple stuff. Um, of course, you just want to have a one drops because one drops are great. And then we have four Greymon here. This Greymon, while you have reboot, gets a jamming. That's why Toragmon is very useful. That way, um, if you don't have reboot, you're pretty much not gonna get so many skills, but you want to make sure you have a reboot. And this just gives jamming. That way, basically, you make your big boys have reboot, blocker, and jamming. So they can just constantly swing at your opponent's security. Uh, you're not going to die in the end of the turn. You, you reboot that blocker and you're just going to control the board. All right, moving to level five, we're going to start off with our the newest black staple, Gogumon. Gogumon here is Digiverse 1. Give your one of your Digimons plus two into the end of your opponent's turn. This is a very great card because this, again, not only combos with a certain option card that we're going to see later, but uh, pretty much makes your blockers big. And since it's uh, it stacks, you can just use a skill, then Digivolve, and again, you can uh, Digiburst and Rizamon, and then get them back to hand. So you're always just building up your hand, and this card just pretty much makes it to where you have big blockers all the time. Very good card. Um, and then, speaking of blockers, we do have round three Megadramon from the start deck. This card is great. Pretty much inheritable skill, give blocker. So this makes it to where your big Megas that don't have blocker will have blocker and it just makes it that much more aggressive and uh, controlling. And then wrapping up, we just have two Metal Greymon here. This Metal Greymon, uh, well, if you have Reboot, Security Plus One. So this is mostly in here for one uh, Digimon, um, but I still like to run it because it's just such a good card. And again, if you have Reboot, Security Plus One, to so give that to your big blockers, just hurts. All right, start off with the big boss of this deck. Oh. <laughs> We're doing the Blitz Greymon from the start deck. Originally, I was gonna make Black War Greymon the boss of this deck, um, and that was gonna be pretty much the the only real aggressive method of this deck. But I, but when I was testing it, and I didn't, I didn't have my four Black War Greymons yet, I tested with four Blitz Greymon here, and I like this one more. So this one here gives Security plus one, which is great, and then uh, Digi Burst two to give something plus four. So basically, you if you do it to him, he's 16k. Um, with security plus one, pretty much will get in, through anything in their security just from his skill alone. 
So you don't have to worry about Omnimons, Chaos Mons, nothing. He's just gonna punch. And then if you give him Blocker Reboot, he's just gonna stand back up. So during your opponent's turn, he's going to be 16K Blocker. And that is just so so good. Um, and then we have two War Greymon uh, from two. This is just our Reboot Blocker. So built-in Reboot Blocker, really great to have. And that's why I run him, because it's just War Greymon. <laughs> Uh, basically every deck I run has War Grandma in it now, so why not? Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, two Black War Grandma. This is the Dash Promo Black War Grandma. Um, main Digiburst 2, you can unsuspend him. So basically, that's why I like running uh, Grandma and Metal Grandma in this deck. It's mainly um, for Black War Grandma here. Basically give him Jamming, Reboot, and Security plus one. That way he can just punch through security real quick, get rid of that security, and then you can just uh, worry about your other combos. So that's why he's only two up now, because I want to work on uh, pretty much having my other Megas being the big control cards. Because he will probably die, um, but he can punch out a security. And then wrapping up our level sevens, we are doing two Chaos Mons. I love this card so much. I've been enjoying him in green. I'm enjoying the Valor Valderarm in yellow. And now I get to enjoy him here. If you guys didn't notice, come on, it's right there. Is that even better? So Chaos Mon here is he has piercing, and then on Digivolve you can unsuspend him and he can attack uh, a Digi opponent's Digimon, even an unsuspended one, which is amazing. Um, so basically, um, for example, if you did go Black War Greymon and swing, 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 and you're at that point you should have killed your opponent's security. If not, you can do piercing. But if not, you can still get rid of your opponent's Digimon. Um, what's even better here is if you save Chaos Mon, you put him over uh, somebody like who has Megatramon uh, in Toy Akamon, you can pretty much have Chaos Mon be a 14k reboot blocker, and that's annoying. All right, and then the option cards, and this is what makes the deck so much fun, so powerful. We have Final Zubagon Punch. So Final Zubagon Punch here, and I'm just gonna read it for you guys so you guys can get the exact word in here. Um, main is only a two cost. Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus three until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then if that Digimon is 16,000 DP or more, he gains blocker reboot security plus one. Super powerful card. It's only two cost. So basically, if you don't have a toy Agamon line and uh, you're sitting on a uh, thing you're saying on Blitz Greymon and you want to go into Chaos Mon, you can just go into your final Zubagon punch here, uh, make it to where uh, right, just then an error. This is 15. Uh, most of inheritable skills like Kaporimon will already put you to 16. If not, you can use a Digi Burst to get them up there. So they're already you're at your Digimon at 16 something, um, and then you can do Final Super Gun Punch with uh, Reboot Blocker, Security Plus One, and then it'll be Security Plus Three with Blitz Greymon, and then you can go into Chaos Mon, and he'll be sitting at like 18, 19, even 20 thousand DP hmm, Blocker, and that just pretty much just sets up you you pretty much set a good control board and your opponent can't do anything unless you have an option card to kind of get rid of it um but it pretty much puts some high pressure on opponent and then wrapping up the last four cards we do have marcus damon here we are running this marcus um because uh he's our memory fixer you always need a memory fixer and then anytime a Greymon were to attack you can rest this card to gain one memory so since our entire level six lineup is Greymon, this card is highly effective so basically you just hopefully get at least two to three Marcus Damon in the back row, depending on him security or not. But every time you attack, you will basically get memory, and that is just fantastic. All right, so you, you what do you guys think of this deck? I really enjoyed. Again, it's not it's not meant to be super competitive, um, but I enjoy it for what it does and what it gives, and it's just a fantastic deck. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it and what you guys do with your black deck. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bless your face. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.